Welcome to our mathematics class. Today we shall be looking at latitude and longitude. In our discussion of latitude and longitude, we shall be looking at the great circle, we shall also be looking at the small circles. In our discussion of latitude and longitude, our focus shall be on the earth's surface. And this globe before you is representing the earth's surface. The latitudes we are talking about, or we are going to talk about, are imaginary lines that runs in the north and down to the south of this globe, which is representing the earth's surface. The earth's surface is described as a spherical object, or a spherical shape, or spherical surface. Now this is representing the spherical surface of the earth. The latitude now runs, there are lines that runs around. There are many that goes around this object. Those ones that runs around like this, moving in this form, are the ones we are referring to as the latitudes. They are both in the north, this is the north, and this is the south. So they run north down to the south of a line or a latitude called the equator. The equator is that line, the imaginary line, that divides the earth's surface into two equal parts. So they run north and south of the equator. Then we also have the longitude. If you can see this very clearly, you see this point running and it goes the other way, goes round, forming a complete circle on its own. And there are many of it, it goes like this, see this one here, look at this one, it's running and it goes back to forming a circle. This one, they run east or west of the Greenwich Meridian. The point here, north, down to the south, is what we are referring to as the Greenwich Meridian. So, to the east of it and to the west of it, they are longitudes. And we shall now describe how they are measured and how to calculate the distance between one point and the other on the surface of the earth. I want you to also know that each of the latitudes intersects with the longitudes. Any point where the latitude and a longitude intersect is describing a particular place or a specific place on the earth's surface. So the intersection of the latitudes and the longitude describes a place on the earth's surface. So now let's discuss our latitude and longitude. As illustrated with the globe, latitude are described as imaginary lines running north or south of the equator. They are measured in degrees from 90 degrees north to 90 degrees south. Secondly, longitudes, they are also called meridians. They are imaginary lines running east and west of the Greenwich Meridian or the north or south pole. The intersection of a latitude and a longitude defines a place on the earth's surface. For example, this diagram describes latitudes. This is the latitude zero degrees. This one is latitude zero degrees, which we refer to as the equator. This one, we can regard this as maybe 60 degrees and it's in the north. This one can be maybe 45 degrees and it's in the south. And each of these one, this has a center here. This one also has a center. Similarly, this one also has a center. So this is describing the latitudes. The second diagram is describing longitudes. You see them running east and then west of the Greenwich Meridian. They are also measured in degrees. 
from 0 degrees to 180 degrees east or west of the Greenwich Meridian. And of course, the latitude, I forgot to mention that, also are measured in degrees from 0 degrees to 90 degrees, either to the north or to the south. Now, the third diagram is representing a combination of the latitudes and the longitudes. These are the latitudes. And these ones are the longitudes. You now observe that each of them, they have a center, quite all right. And there is a point of intersection. A point of intersection. All this one, point of intersection. Point of intersection. You can see this now. This is the side of the arc surface that we are facing, or like the globe that was facing the camera. So you can easily see this point. But behind, that becomes the shadow of it. So here, this is describing the place. It can be a place A, it can be a place B, a place C, a place D, a place E, a place F on the earth surface. So we shall now be looking at how do we calculate the radius of this one, this latitude, and then there is a latitude here which is the equator and it has a standard radius we also have this latitude here which is in the south of the equator how do we calculate the radius of this one the radius of this one this is the radius of the earth surface which is also the radius of the equator which is latitude zero degrees we shall then again look at how to find the distance between the point a and b along this latitude we call them parallel of latitude they are parallel of latitudes so we can sometimes say oh, we are looking for the distance between a and b along the parallel of latitude 40 degrees or 60 degrees north the same thing here maybe 45 degrees south so we shall now start by looking at the small circles and the great circles under the small circles we are going to be talking about the circles that are formed which do not have the center of the earth as their center. Then the great circles are those that have the center of the earth also as their center. And we say here that all latitudes except the equator are small circles. And then all the longitudes are great circles because the center of the earth is also their center. Now we're going to look at small circles. By definition, all latitudes excluding the equator are small circles. Their centers are not the same as the center of the earth. And of course, it means that their radius will also be less than the radius of the entire earth. We also have gray circles. Gray circles have the center of the earth as their centers. The equator is a latitude and a gray circle at the same time. Because the radius of the earth is also the radius of the equator. All longitudes are great circles. They are measured east or west of the Greenwich Meridian. From zero degrees to one two degrees, either in the, to the east or to the west. The location of a place on the earth's surface is by the intersection of the latitudes and longitudes. Let's take an example. For example, location A is on latitude 45 degrees north, longitude 50 degrees east. Location B is on latitude 40 degrees, 40 degrees south and longitude 30 degrees west. Let's represent both locations on the earth surface. So representing them, let's take the first one. We sketch. I'm sketching. And then I have the north and south pole. I have the equator. And then I have 45 degrees north. And it has its own center here. Then we have the longitude. 50 degrees to the east. This is the east. Let me just complete this. Okay. A rough sketch. This is the center. 
Now this one is our equator, zero degrees. So the center, neither north nor south. But here is your 45 degrees north. And then this line is the one representing the longitude, 50 degrees to the east. As I said earlier, we are going to be finding the radius, calculating the distance between one point and the other on the earth's surface. So our calculations will be based on the following. A, the radius R of parallel of latitude. The formula we shall be using to find the radius R of parallel of latitude will be equal to R cos theta where our R is approximately 6400 kilometers or 6400 kilometers that is the radius approximate radius of the earth's surface and theta is the latitude that is being described now here is the surface of the earth this is the center and this is Latitude zero degrees. Why this another latitude of theta degrees? From here to here is the radius of the small circle here or the parallel of latitude here. Why from here to here is the radius of the earth represented by the capital letter R? The small circle or the small the latitude here is represented by the letter R, small letter R. Now this is the angle formed, which is the latitude. So from trigonometrical ratios, we know that R, small letter R by capital letter R is equal to cos theta. You recall that I just said over hypotenuse. Therefore, our small letter R is equal to R cos theta. Take that as our first equation. Note, the length of latitude, when you talk about the latitude, now the length of the latitude is the same thing as the circumference of the circle of parallel of latitude. And of course, if you are finding the circumference of a circle, you usually write 2 pi r. And this r now, from equation 1, is equal to r cos theta. Hence, if you are told to find the length of a latitude, or the circumference of the circle of parallel of latitude, it is 2 pi capital R cos theta, where r and theta have their original definitions. The latitude of the place the radius of the earth. To further discuss our calculation problems in latitude and longitude, we shall use a tool from circle geometry. Now, that tool is the length of arc of a circle. Here is a circle and center O. There is a point A and B on the circumference of the circle. From O to A is the radius from O to B is also the radius. Now, from the point A to B along the circumference is called the arc. This arc is making an angle, call it alpha, subtending an angle alpha at the center. The angle here is the angle subtended by the arc AB at the center of the circle. And you will recall from what we have done in circle geometry that to find the length of arc, so let's say the length of arc AB to length of arc AB is equal to the angle subtended at the center which is alpha all over 360 degrees times because we are looking for a part of the circumference we talk about 2 pi a small letter r now this gives you the formula for calculating the length of the arc AB on a circle. We shall now relate this one to how to calculate the distance between a point A and B on the earth surface using a similar two. Let's look at it. Distance along a great circle. The distance along a great circle. You will recall that I told you that the great circle is a circle that has the same center of the earth as its center. It therefore means that the radius of the earth is also the radius of this great circle. So the distance along a great circle is the length 
of the arc between two places. So the distance along the great circle will be calculated using alpha over 360 degrees times 2 pi capital letter R, where alpha is the angular difference and the R, the capital R, the radius of the earth, which is approximately 6,400 kilometers. In our summing of examples, we will be able to explain more on the angular difference between two places. D. The distance along parallel of latitudes. These are small circles, not great circles. The distance is calculated using the formula. The distance along the parallel of latitude equal to alpha over 360 degrees times 2 pi r cos theta. And of course, our theta here is the latitude. And why alpha is the angular difference, which I will also explain with an example as in course of this teaching. Where alpha is the angular difference and theta is the latitude. Note, the shortest distance between two places on the earth's surface is along a great circle. Note also that two parallel of latitudes, two parallel of latitudes have the same radius. For example, latitude 60 degrees north and latitude 60 degrees south have equal radar. We have already carefully looked at the instruments or the tools we are going to use in solving problems involving latitude and uh, longitude. So we shall take some examples. Example number one, find the angle between latitude 45 degrees north and latitude 75 degrees south. Our solution, what are we supposed to do in this case? Our solution is, let me describe it for you. What they are saying is simple. You have a measurement. We want to take a measurement of the angle. Assuming we have this. So we take a measurement of 45 degrees. You have that. You take a measurement of 75 degrees. And that is that. Okay, let's assume. This is what we have. So we have this angle here measured from the equator. And here is 45 degrees. And then measured from here down the whole of this one is your 75 degrees. The whole of this one is your 75 degrees. 75 degrees. All right. Now, we want to find this angle here. This angle. Since this one has been measured, this is 75 degrees, and this is 45 degrees. So what is this angle here? To find that angle, so we now say that the angle between them, the angle, the angle is equal to 75 degrees minus 45 degrees, and that's equal to 30 degrees. Example number two, if the radius of the earth is 6,370 kilometers, determine the length of a meridian. Solution. A meridian is a longitude. So we have here a meridian is a longitude. And all longitudes are great circle. So all longitudes are great circles. So to determine the length of a meridian, the length of a meridian is the same as the circumference of the longitude. All right. So how do you find the circumference of the longitude? So let's say C, the circumference of the longitude, will be equal to 2 pi 
and capital R, the circumference of a longitude. Longitudes are calculated uh, like circles, or latitudes like circles. So to find the circumference of a circle, it is 2 pi r, which is in the circumference of the longitude. For the great circle, we use the capital letter R without any angle attached. So that this will be equal to 2 times 22 over 7, where we are giving pi as 22 over 7, and then times 6370 kilometers. This is what you have substituted now, and then you multiply to get the final result. And this should be equal to, so using our calculator, 2 times 22 times 6370 divided by 7, you will have here 40040 kilometers. And this is the circumference of that meridian. Example number three. The latitudes and longitudes of T and M on the earth surface are T, latitude 60 degrees north, and longitude 12 degrees west. And M, latitude 60 degrees north, and longitude 48 degrees east. Calculate the radius or parallel of latitude on which T and M lie. You are going to take your arrow approximately equal to 6,400 kilometers. Our solution. We can sketch what we have here. And here is the center of the X. And then we are talking about latitude 60 degrees, the North Pole, and the South Pole, this is your 60 degrees North, this is the equator, then you also have the longitude as 12 degrees West, so we pick it here, we draw the line, this is your 12 degrees West, I also have 48 degrees East to the other side, so we pick this one, I will join it here. This point now is your point T, and this point here is your point M. And again, this one they have a center called the C. Our interest in this place is to find the radius. So let me bring out that circle. What we actually have is this circle. What we have here now, let's bring out the circle. This is C. And here is the point C. And here is the point N. This is our radius. Right. Our interest is to find the radius. So we have no much problem here. But I want you to see what I have done by bringing this to this. So you see this now as a sector of a circle. Then our radius R is equal to capital letter R, the cos of theta. I will define our theta as a latitude. R is given to us as 6400 multiplied it by cos theta and cos theta here. Where is the latitude? The latitude is 60 degrees. Latitude is 60 degrees. So this is 60 degrees, and that is the value of theta. Then you can now multiply this. This becomes 6400. What is the value of cos 60 degrees? From your perfect table or your calculator, cos 60 degrees is equal to 0 0.5 or half. Now, dividing through by 2, you have 3200 kilometers. So that gives you the radius of that parallel of latitude 60 degrees. Let's take example 4. The latitudes and longitudes of T and M on the earth surface are T, latitude 60 degrees north, longitude 12 degrees west, and M, latitude 60 degrees north, comma, longitude 48 degrees east. Calculate the distance between T and M along the parallel of latitude 60 degrees in terms of pi. Take your capital R approximately equal to 
6400 uh, kilometers solution solution we have a similar sketch in example 3 representing this information so i am going to go straight and use the formula to calculate the distance between t and m so i will say distance T M will be alpha all over 360 degrees times 2 pi capital R o cos theta. Now, what next are we going to do? We find the value of alpha. Alpha is the angular difference. Alpha is the angular difference. I want you to pay particular attention to this. And in this case, the angular difference is we have 12 degrees west and then we also have 48 degrees east so 12 degrees west sorry 12 degrees west and 48 degrees east adding them together is like you have this point here you measure to the west this angle is 12 degrees you measure to the east this angle is 48 degrees now the sum of this angle adding them together you have 60 degrees that is that is the angular difference so you are adding 48 to this and that will eventually give you your 60 degrees now that you have gotten the angular difference of course you already know your theta is the latitude which is also 60 degrees so we go we now have our answer to be equal to 60 all over 360 multiply this by 2 and then multiply this by pi we don't need to substitute anything because they want it in terms of pi then of course we have our 6400 and then multiply this by cos 60 degrees you simplify or evaluate all this and eventually you have this as 1 over 6 times 2 times pi and then this is your 6400 0, 0 times half so what will you have? This is 1 over 3, and uh, this is 32, 0, 0, pi, all over 3 kilometers. You will have solved, you will have found the value of the distance Tm. So you have your Tm is equal to 3,200 over 3 pi kilometers.